Psalm 147 is another of the great songs of praise to God that comes towards the end of the Psalter. Although mention is made of Jerusalem and of God's statutes and ordinances unto Israel, the main focus in this particular psalm is on the glorious and bountiful generosity of God through his creation. This encompasses the vastness of the universe. He telleth the number of the stars and calleth them all by their names, right through to one tiny part of the natural world. He feedeth the young ravens that call upon him. The effect of God's generosity is to dispel worry and anxiety and to bring peace. He maketh peace in thy borders and filleth thee with the flour of wheat. Here we catch a glimpse of Jesus' own teaching about not worrying, which is rooted in the abundance of God's creation and characterises his heavenly kingdom, which he tells us we must seek above all else. O oh, praise the Lord, for it is a good thing to sing praises unto our God. Yea, a joyful and pleasant thing it is to be thankful. The Lord doth build up Jerusalem, and gather together the outcasts of Israel. He healeth those that are broken in heart, and giveth medicine to heal their sickness. He telleth the number of the stars, and calleth them all by their names. Great is our Lord, and great is his power, yea, and his wisdom is infinite. The Lord setteth up the meek, and bringeth the ungodly down to the ground. O oh, sing unto the Lord with thanksgiving, sing praises upon the harp unto our God, who covereth the heaven with clouds, and prepareth rain for the earth, and maketh the grass to grow upon the mountains, and herb for the use of men, who giveth fodder unto the cattle, and feedeth the young ravens that call upon him. He hath no pleasure in the strength of an horse, neither delighteth he in any man's legs. But the Lord's delight is in them that fear him and put their trust in his mercy. Praise the Lord, O Jerusalem. Praise thy God, O Zion. For he hath made fast the bars of thy gates and hath blessed thy children within thee. He maketh peace in thy borders, and filleth thee with the flower of wheat. He sendeth forth his commandments upon earth, and his word runneth very swiftly. He giveth snow like wool, and scattereth the hoar-frost like ashes. He casteth forth his eyes like morsels, who is able to abide his frost. He sendeth out his word, and melteth them. He bloweth with his wind, and the waters flow. He showeth his word unto Jacob, his statutes and ordinances unto Israel. He hath not dealt so with any nation, neither hath the heathen knowledge of his law.